Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Behind the Scenes, The Real United States. I'm your host, Paul Campbell, and as always, behind the camera is my camera operator and wife, Beverly Campbell. We wanted to talk to you today about some of the new equipment that we recently acquired in order to make a little bit better quality videos for everyone. Now, the first thing on the list, I want to give a special shout out to Curtis Judd at Curtis Judd Photography. Curtis was nice enough to really help me along with the selection of a new microphone. I typically use a lavalier microphone, and I'm wearing one right now, a new one, an Audio-Technica AT899. And amongst the many things that Curtis did to help me out, he has a review of this microphone. I've got a link in the description below. I want you to check out his video if you're interested in a new lavalier mic. Um, he also was nice enough to, to comment and respond to some of my comments and, and help me out with this. Now, this is a sub-miniature microphone, and it is on this black shirt especially, almost invisible. This microphone, as you can see, is just this little tiny pea-sized thing. And this is a professional level microphone. It uses an XLR jack input to go to the recorder. The rest of this is just the clip. It comes with a variety of clips. Really, really nice microphone. Hopefully we're getting some much better sound than what you're used to hearing us use in the past. Now, the other thing that uh, Curtis was nice enough to help us with on audio, and he's got a lot of great videos about photography and video and audio, was the selection of a new line recorder to receive this audio, because obviously we needed to up our game with that too. And what we decided to go with, and again, based at least partially on a review he did, which is also listed in the description below, is the Tascam DR100 Mark II. This is a very nice PCM linear recorder. It's got a level meter. You may be able to see that as I'm talking here. That really helps you from overheating the audio track, getting it too hot when you go ahead and depending on what microphone you're plugging into this, you're gonna set that level differently. And Curtis does a much better job of explaining that all to you. So I definitely recommend if you're looking for a new audio recorder, this is something that you want to consider and you want to check out his channel. He's got reviews on lots of different ones. But this is the only, the only thing about this is it's a little harder for me to conceal when I'm in the field. I have to have a large pocket to put this in versus the little Sony recorder that I've been using since I think episode three. And, uh, but it does a much nicer job where we've gone recent weeks, we've gone from using MP3 files to regular WAV files. You get less loss in the audio signal that way. Their files are a little bit bigger, but we're able to work with them nicer and give a little bit better audio for everyone. So those are the two pieces of audio equipment that we've recently upgraded to. Now the next big item after the audio equipment that we purchased recently was a new camera. Now we've studied long and hard about different cameras and there are so many options, it's very hard to make a decision. And we finally, we're pretty sure we wanted to go again with a Sony like we've had before. And in the past, all the videos you've seen to date have been shot with one of these. We actually own two of these. This is a Sony CX210 cam, handy cam, a uh, little consumer camera, does shoot in 1080i, doesn't shoot in 1080p, and it only shoots at 30 frames a second, but it's given us very nice images up to this point. But we had some problems with it in low light. So we had to upgrade to a new camera in order to eliminate some of the problems like what we had in Chicago recently when we were shooting at night and ended up with very grainy film. And so in the course of looking for reviews on this camera, we had decided on the NX30U. We came across what I think is the best review of it on YouTube, and that was done by Joe over at the Video Whisperer. So Joe, I want to thank you very much for not only your review, but for uh, the conversations we had online about this camera. I, I hope that uh, you can really see the difference in this camera. Now I'm gonna cut here so we can actually go back to the old camera because it's the only way I have of showing the new camera. And then we'll switch back to this camera to do the closing. Okay, we've switched back to our normal Sony CX210 Handycam in order to be able to show you the new camera that we bought. And this is, in fact, the Sony HXR NX30U Pro camcorder. We like this a lot. It's got a built-in stabilization 
gyroscopic stabilized lens that tracks its subject and gives a super, super stable effect on the images. Now, we haven't had a lot of experience with this yet, but it does a wonderful job of tracking images. You might be able to see the gimbaled lens moving around inside the head there, and that's in addition to the normal Sony stabilization that the software does. So this it comes with the, the hot shoe audio interface, the shotgun mount and wind cover, the light screen. It is a very nice camera for the money. I'm sure there are much, much nicer cameras that, that shoot in all kinds of other effects. Um, full audio controls here on the side. And of course, all the normal things you'd see. Again, uh, Joe over at the Video Whisperer did an excellent job of reviewing this and explaining all the details about this camera. So I definitely recommend you check out his video that's in the, linked in the description below. But this hopefully is going to give us a lot better video in low light. So we won't have problems like we did in Chicago here a few weeks ago. It also shoots in progressive format instead of interlaced which is going to be very nice, especially here in front of the green screen. And it has even a night vision sort of capability that I don't fully understand. It's not a true infrared, but it is it is a night vision sort of a thing with the green effect on it. But staring down the barrel of that, um, yeah, that's a little daunting for me right now since I've been used to staring at the, the small handy cam. But I'm getting used to it, and it's it's producing some very good results. So we're going to switch back now to this camera so I can finish up this behind the scenes. Okay, we're back to the, uh, to the NX30U camera, and I wanted to show you the last piece of equipment, which isn't something we, we purchased per se, it's something we built, and this is a camera stabilizer. Now, I built this for the CX210, the Sony that we've been using, and this was courtesy of a video done by the Frugal Filmmaker. There's a link in the description below also to this video. I've tried to give links to everybody I'm giving a shout out today to. And this is built out of PVC pipe, half inch pipe, very inexpensive. This whole rig costs about five bucks. And in fact, takes about 15 minutes to build. It's that easy. This isn't even glued together. And it is super stable. I can't hardly twist it or anything. And uh, we managed to build this to his specifications over at the Frugal Filmmaker. He's got a very detailed list of instructions, a detailed list of parts, and it fit our camera very nicely. You can see that it, it fits nice. You can, you can touch the screen with your thumb if you want to hit the menu and whatnot. The new camera being somewhat larger, I'm going to build another one of these, but I'm going to increase the height on this somewhat to accommodate the shotgun mount and the hot shoe and all that. But again, a very stable platform for doing pans up and down, side to side. It's a very, very nice piece to add to your arsenal of equipment for next to nothing. So if you're interested in a camera stabilizer and you're on a budget, I definitely recommend checking out the Frugal Filmmaker. He's got a lot of other great videos over there about jib cranes and other stuff. The guy does a great job and we really appreciate all that he's taught us. So we want to thank everybody, Curtis over there, Curtis Judd Photography, Joe at the Video Whisperer, and of course the Frugal Filmmaker. All the responses and nice help that they've given us, we really appreciate it. So I want to thank everybody out there for watching. Also, if you haven't already, we encourage you to pick subscribe and join us for future episodes. If you have questions or comments, well, and they're not answered in the videos that I've linked below, please leave your comments below. I'd be glad to try and answer anything that I possibly can just as soon as I can. And as always, thank you for watching.